So this is an introduction video to magnetism. First of all, magnetism is a special type of um, force or field. Um, in the same way that we have positive and negative charges, and you have interaction and field lines between them um, with an electric field, <coughs> you can also have a magnetic field where you have, say, a north and a south pole, and you have uh, magnetic field lines running from north to south and we call it B is the symbol for the magnetic field or the magnetic field strength. Um, now the difference between a magnetic field and electric field is a magnetic field um, you always have um, a dipole okay a dipole that is there's always two poles and one uh, magnetic field um, charge if you like an electric field, you get a positive charge and a negative charge by themselves, but in a magnetic field, you can't. You don't have this monopole. Okay, um, so there's no such thing as a magnetic monopole. You can't get a north by itself or a south by itself. Um, north and north, they oppose each other. So if you were to draw the field lines going from north to south, they wouldn't meet. They'll just sort of push away from each other, and they wouldn't want to touch. There'd be this void in the middle which is kind of cool. South would be exactly the same. In fact, I'm going to draw it over the top of it. If that was south and that was south, same lines, except other direction. And again, um, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't meet. So there'd be this gap in the middle as well. But when you have your north-south, that's what you end up with. So that's what magnetism is and how it works. It's a force um, represented by field theory. Um, but now what we want to know about is the link to electricity. Um, We've seen if we compare the fields, there's, we can kind of explain them in similar ways, but those are just scientific models to explain what's going on. Uh, so don't get too caught up in it. But um, it turns out if you have a electron negatively charged and moving, as it moves through space, uh, it creates or opens up a magnetic field around it as it moves. So that uh, at, at this point in space, um, if it's moving at a velocity uh, in that direction, at this initial point in space, you'll have a magnetic field um, around it. Um, and that's, I haven't drawn that very well, let's try again. Um, well, if, here's my negative charged electron. There'll be a field running behind it and around it. There we go, see what I did differently there? Um, and if that's traveling in that direction and um, right at the center point where that electron is that's where the um, the magnetic field is at its strongest okay uh, so just to show you the magnetic field runs around that way and there's a similar smaller loop in the front and behind um, remember that the loops uh, represent the strength of the magnetic field if they're closer together um, it would be a stronger field Okay, um, so now as this electron moves, it changes position, moves across to here, and those loops will close up, and it'll open up another set of loops uh, just over here, you know, close to where it is. And you can imagine these opening and closing as it travels across um, in, in or through space, so that you have um, always the strongest magnetic field right where the electron itself is. Okay, um, <coughs> so uh, the link with this is that if electricity, and both DC and, and AC electricity, um, are to do with electron movement, okay, then you will always have a magnetic field. There's always going to be a magnetic field where there's electricity. So that means... Um, electricity and magnetism will interact and because you have this, um, this this field around electrons as they move they're going to interact with the um, with the permanent magnets and interestingly enough how, where it comes from is these permanent magnets, say if this was an iron magnet it might have um, an iron molecule with electrons orbiting around the nucleus of that atom in a particular pattern that produces, remember these electrons moving have got their own little magnetic fields, but that will produce effectively a mini uh, north and south pole around that iron atom. 
and in something that's non -mag non magnetic or iron doesn't have to be magnetic you would have those norths and souths in all bunch of different directions and so overall there's no cohesive magnetic field but if you put a permanent magnet next to it and then you heat it up and then cool it down or you just rub that permanent magnet around make a make its presence known and give those iron molecules a chance to line up and the electrons a chance to uh, orbit in a way that'll make them all um, sort of start pointing in the same direction you don't even need them all to point in the same direction but you just need enough for there to be a, a discernible um, difference and then you get that's how you get a, a, um, a, a magnet it's just lining up the molecules so the electrons produce a, a, a combined magnetic field in one direction so as you can see magnetism is really just part of electricity um, and electricity I guess is part of magnetism because of that and that's why we often talk about electromagnetism because um, you don't typically get um, one or the other by themselves there's always something going on between them so that's why it's electromagnetism and that's why it's linked with electricity